right, guys. Um, actually, I did say yesterday we were actually going to be working on the Silverado, but we're actually not. Just want to make sure. We're going to actually work on this Toyota Corolla. Oh. Um, my teacher is going. Looks like he's going to. Um, never mind. We are going to go to this Toyota Corolla. Man, this is the first time I ever went in an old Corolla. Literally. Ah, that smell of, nine, of the 1980s and 90s. Oh, yeah. Do you have a keyboard? This yeah, is the one. Uh, it's not this one then. Yeah. This is the sweet smell of 1980s. Um, yeah, I could tell it's a 1980s car because you can tell by the fact it has this kind of seatbelt. Remember these guys? You 80s people, remember where you have to grab a lap belt and do that, and then when you turn on the car, you have one of these, yeah, so you grab this, grab this latch, and then you put it up here, wrong way, like this, yeah, you guys probably remember that, I never, I never wore a seatbelt like that in, when I had um, I mean, I never had a car or never rode in a car to have that kind of seatbelt, but I know these were a thing. So, I'm turn this on, push. Yep. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the car in. All right, the Corolla is in. Now we're going to be lifting it up. But first, we're going to check what's underneath the hood. You for real, dude. 16 valve EFI. So, four valves soon. This is my favorite engine. Is it really? Uh, I go up over there somewhere, probably. There could be more things that we're going to do with this Corolla. But the main thing that the customer wants is a brake inspection. So we're gonna to do our basic brake inspection and see how see how the brakes are, are doing on this on this car. And then we'll see from there and see how what we're gonna do. Alright, so I'm gonna be inspecting the brakes. Uh, looks like the rotor is decent. Oh, there's a Chevy C10 coming in. Okay. So um, rotor feel, um Feels uh, pretty decent. Not um, there's a little bit of ruggedness there, a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, but if I stand corrected, I don't think that. Eh, I guess the brake pad does have a little bit of meat to it. Check the other side. If I can see if there's any uh, any other one on the other side. It's really hard to see, but I think it, it, you can probably see it, but it's diff, kind of difficult to see in there, but it looks like, looks like this brake pad over here just doesn't have a lot of meat to it, but it's still enough to slow down this car without having it to squeak. Ah, look at that right there, guys. Let me feel this rotor real quick. Let me see the pads real quick. It's a machine there, huh? Yeah, a machine there. We got all the specs down already. I don't know about those pads. Just the resurfacing? Yeah, probably more. Probably, yeah. But that's our, we see our first problem right there. Okay, so this car has rear drum brakes, so. We're gonna find a way to take that out, those out. Yeah, WD-40 solves everything. Uh, that's all good underneath. There's the other drum brake. Also spray with WD-40s. Okay, I kind of sound hesitant saying that, but oh well. All right, guys. I'm gonna do some of the job off camera, and then I'll give you guys an update once I'm I want everything else. Yeah, that's a crazy on that. It's just pretty scary. Alright. That's a 
That's how I made it. It's just crazy. Until I got the old gear. Mm. Six, four, three, six, four, oh, so we're just measuring the thickness of the rotor. Let me check that brake pad. Hold it. 0.631. Oh, damn. It's way off. Right, real quick, guys. Looks like this rotor has some life to it. Same with this one. I think this thing has hope. But, uh, one of them is a little bit thicker than the other one. You cannot tell on camera, but I can see it. Just a little bit. Alright. Alright, so... I apologize for me looking stupid with these safety glasses, but I mean, that's what they are, safety glasses for my safety. But uh, according to what my instructor said, this brakes, even though they do have some life in it, if we're going to put new rotors in it, we're going to change the whole system to it. We're going to put new brake pads. Uh, if we're going to put new rotors on the car, we're going to put new brake pads in. So even though these things have some meat to it, I mean, on your car, probably it will, it will be exceptional, but if it's this is going to be on a customer's car, so... It's, if one part's gonna be new, the other's gotta be new. That's what you guys know. Yeah, I was, right here, all right guys, I was cleaning up uh, the brakes, <laughs> the brake system with that thing that one of my classmates were using. And uh, I got I got nutted, guys. I got sprayed. I'm gonna go wash up. Did the same thing that my, my mate is doing right now. And I got mauled again. Time to wash up. That's the only thing that sucks about automotive. But if you, I've always heard that if you ain't getting dirty, you ain't doing anything right. And so, I am doing something right here. If I'm not getting dirty, I'm doing something wrong. All right, so we got a message from the owner of this car. They said they don't want to replace any brake rotors and pads. So if they're still good on this bra on the brakes, we'll go from there and then, yeah, leave it as it is. So, yeah, I'm gonna take this car out. All right, final test run is the, is the test drive. Yeah, obviously, the test, test run time. So all I'm gonna do is gonna take the Toyota Corolla around around the parking lot, see if the brakes are working fine, and we'll go from there. Keep saying that word. Oh, I noticed that the speedometer does not function right here. steering wheel is out of alignment you guys don't see it on camera but I, I can see it myself very vague steering wheel too it's not a performance car I'm not expecting it to be having her Dodge Dakota back. I can now safely say, as granddad as an old man says, 
Job done. She'll be pulling away with success. I guess we can now safely say that is a wrap for today with the, with the Toyota Corolla. Um, the lady just left with the, Dodge, the red Dodge Dakota that we were fixing yesterday. And, uh, yep. Job done with the brake inspection for the Toyota Corolla. Until then, talk to you guys again soon.